Hi, it's Shamak MD from shamakmd.com. It used to be believed that the human brain was not able to produce new brain cells once mature. But scientists now widely accept that the human brain can undergo neurogenesis, in which new neurons are born, even as adults, even as older adults. This process can be helped along through dietary and lifestyle changes. Two specific regions of the brain, the hippocampus and the subventricular zone, both show evidence of neurogenesis post-maturity. The hippocampus is responsible for learning and memory. When it's not functioning as it should be, neurodegenerative conditions such as depression, anxiety, and Parkinson's can develop. But you can help reduce your risk of these conditions while at the same time promoting adult stage brain cell formation by following just these five steps. Number one is exercise. It might sound like you hear this all the time, to exercise. But when it comes to the brain, the single most effective way to promote neurogenesis in your brain is to exercise regularly. Getting your blood flowing by walking, running, biking, swimming, or lifting weights is a great way to increase levels of brain-derived neurotropic factor, known as BDNF, and glial cell-derived trophic factor known as GDNF. These are two key growth factors that promote neurogenesis. And anything that gets your blood flowing can do this, including dancing. The endorphins released through cardiovascular exercise also help minimize levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, while increasing levels of the hormone testosterone, which, like GDNF, and BDNF helps to promote neurogenesis. These exercise-induced hormones and growth factors are especially critical as a person ages, since they act as anti-aging, cognition-boosting nutrients. Number two is meditation. The scientific benefits of meditation are well established. Evidence suggests that meditation can help increase the gray matter density of various regions of the brain, including the hippocampus. Meditation helps us to focus more on the now rather than the past and the future. Meditation clears the mind and helps balance brain chemicals, including those that regulate neurogenesis. Studies show that meditation helps activate certain integrative functions in the brain, promoting long and short-term neural changes. Night meditation can also help upregulate the body's production of melatonin, which is a sleep hormone directly linked to neurogenesis. Number three is diet. Eating right might seem obvious, but many people still don't know exactly what this means. Your brain is made up of about 60% fat, which means fat is important in your day-to-day -day nutrition. But many people view fat as bad, trying to avoid it in favor of fat-free or low-fat food options, which unfortunately are many times packed with chemical sweeteners and other artificial and chemical additives. Omega-3 fatty acids are an important fat to consume regularly for improved brain health, as are healthy saturated fats such as coconut and palm oil. Docosahexaconic acid, known as DHA, is a critical fat component as it pertains to neurogenesis, and it's absolutely necessary for the brain to manufacture new brain cells. DHA can be found in cold water fatty fish, such as salmon. It's also found in fish oil supplements. 
Vegetarian sources of DHA come from seaweed. Number four is a collection of three, sleep, sunlight, and sex. Sleep is often overlooked in health, but proper and enough sleep is critical for healthy brain function. Sleep deprivation, it turns out, reduces hippocampal neurogenesis and disrupts hormone balance. The sun, natural exposure to sunlight is another factor in neurogenesis as vitamin D which is produced when our skin is exposed to the rays of the sun. It also increases levels of both serotonin, which is a brain neurotransmitter, and GDNF, glial-derived neurotropic factor expression in the brain. The optimal exposure for beneficial UV rays from the sun usually ranges from 10 to 15 minutes day during the summer months. And then there's sex, which helps reduce stress while boosting levels of certain feel-good transmitters in the brain. Studies have shown that sex helps minimize both anxiety and corticosterone levels while promoting adult neurogenesis and stimulating the growth of dendritic spines and architecture in the hippocampus. So yes, it helps you grow brain cells. Number five is cannabis. Various psychoactive compounds, including those found in magic mushrooms, psilocybin, and cannabis, THC and CBD, have also been shown to help in the development of new brain cells. Psilocybin, it turns out, both increases hippocampal neurogenesis and increases the ability of the brain to unlearn certain negative fear responses. That's why sometimes sufferers of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, often report benefits from supplementing with psilocybin. So there you have it, five easy steps to help increase your cognition, help boost your cells of your memory, help boost your cells of your brain, and overall, improve the function of your brain even as adults thank you so much for listening hope you can incorporate some of these five steps in your life to actually grow new brain cells and help prevent the diseases that are out there this is shamak md from shamakmd.com